Well, there's been a huge evolution in our rock and surf fishing or shore-based angling in South Africa. The trend has gone towards this type of a setup, um, the grinder setup with a fixed tool, spool reel, softer rods, longer rods, and I, I think we've got it right in this one. What I've got here, I've got Pure Fishing's brand new 16 foot 2 specialized long distance grinder rod. They've just come on the market. I've got this fitted with a Conflict, it's a new Conflict 2. It's the, the lightest reels that Penn's brought out. It's got perfect line lay and it's a perfect setup for long distance casting. Casting with a grinder setup or a fixed spool setup is quite a bit different than um, casting with a multiplier setup and there's a few reasons for that and we'll just quickly run through them. Um, first of all, the obvious difference, it's called a fixed spool reel, so there's no revolving parts during the cast. What does that mean? That, that means you don't have to ever worry about throwing a fluff or a bunch. You don't have to worry about rod tip speed or anything like that. And so that changes a few things up a little bit. I've got this reel fitted with braid. It's 50 pound Berkeley black velvet. You can actually go a little bit lighter if you want more distance, but this, um, the braid's so smooth and thin that um, 50 pounds fine. The rod's fitted with a Berkeley braid finger. Braid's a lot thinner than nylon, especially when you try and do distance casting. There's a lot of pressure on your finger. Um, you still get people that prefer to use a, a leather glove, etc. But I find if you, if you practice with a Berkeley braid finger, it's actually easier to get a solid long distance cast. I'll just quickly run, run you through how you actually use this Berkeley braid finger. It's very easy. Your bail arm still in the closed position. Clamp your, your line with your finger. Put around the Berkeley braid finger and clamp down. And then this basically just take the place of your, your finger. So whenever you're going to release a line with your finger, with a glove, whatever, you do exactly the same. You just let go of the trigger. Now when you're fishing with, with braid and you, you're fishing with obviously a braid lead on top of it, there's no stretch, there's no give, there's no forgiveness. So that's why we use specialized grinder rods. It gives you a bit more flexibility and a bit more ease of the cast. Very important in distance casting with a grinder setup is a punch, lots of power. You basically need a smooth start off and a big punch at the end. The more tip speed you can get, the more distance you get. With grinder casting, timing is very, very important. And that timing comes from the release of the, the Berkeley trigger. So you've got that punch, you've got that high tip speed, you need to release at the right time. And as you practice your casting, you'll, you'll actually realize that there's a sound coming off the trigger when you release it perfectly. You'll hear like a whooping sound. The louder that sound is, the more power you've got in the cast and the better your timing is. Just remember as well that these are just basic guidelines. This is what works for me. You need to practice, you need to get your own style together. Practice, practice, practice with casting. That's the way to go. And I hope to see you next to the beach catching a few big ones.